What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks. How you doing? Today is uh, Mr. Warmack, and I'm definitely back in the building. Today I want to talk about how... Well, first, let me introduce my buddy here. Here he comes in four, three, two, one. This is this is uh, Jonathan Goodluck, ladies and gentlemen, President of Nigeria. And he's looking like this because he can't understand how the government can waste money on stuff like this. I mean, and I'm probably because I'm hanging with this guy is probably the reason why Congress is having hearings like this. We're talking about today about congressional hearings on this. They're censoring the new media, if you will. Now, the congressional hearings, they had uh, a series of hearings. Where they uh, where they, they try to say how bloggers, conspiracy theorists, and people who challenge the established the establishment's um, narrative or what they put out to the people, they're on the internet. They're kind of saying they're 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 equating them with ISIS terrorists. This was during a Senate a congressional hearing, and this happened uh, on the fifteenth April. This was like. Two days ago, this is what I'm doing a video. I mean, a podcast. This is some serious stuff, people. America is in shambles, and they're doing stuff. They're worried about what a couple bloggers are talking about. Yes, the internet can be used to rally people up, but at the same time, if you notice, well, let me go. Let me let me before I, before I do this, let me go. Let me go a little bit. Give you a little background. Now, at the hearing, it was a House Foreign Relations Committee. It was a. Uh, they wanted to confront like Russians, weaponizations, and, inf and inf of information. And uh, they, they basically are using RT, which is Russia Today, as the as the how I want to say this. They want to use them as the bullseye. That's what they're using because the, one of the speakers was the chick, former RT host, and I saw the video where she openly quit, and she said she's tired of the government, Russian government, digging in, telling the do whatever stories, and that was staged. Because if she was going to quit, why would why would you do all that? You just quit. You wouldn't you wouldn't put on a show. It was staged. And uh, what she was trying to tell them is like, the internet's a great place for people with fringe voices. If you got a fringe voice, you know, and if you're extremist, you know, and they try to say how, you know, this is her, her exact quote. They mobilize and they feel they're part of some enlightened fight against the establishment. establishment. They find a platform to derange views. Now, that being said, here's another quote by um, Andrew Lack. He's the U.S. Broadcasting Board of Governors chief. He said, this is, this is his direct quote, by using the internet to mobilize people that feel displaced that feel like they've been on the outskirts of society and give them a place where they can find a sense of belonging, maybe maybe make a difference in their own way. And it's a problem. Now, that being said, you're comparing us to ISIS, which strangely enough, the government funded ISIS. The government had their hand in creating ISIS. So they should know because they created, they spawned that. But what kills me is, if you ever notice, about, well, what it is is, we're not, uh, bloggers aren't the typical MSNBC, Fox News, CNN, ABC, CBS. They're, we're not, they're not that type of mold. Because you see what it is, that we don't just get, like, we don't get uh, press releases from the, gut, from the White House. We don't get what so-and-so says to say. A lot of bloggers look deeper than that. Like I said, if you ever notice... How come? How come all of a sudden now? Like, if you there are the people are wake. What well, is people are waking up and seeing how much the government is lying to us? Number one. Number two. You ever notice this? They never do nothing to the KKK, racist groups, uh, the Black Panthers, maybe Hispanic racists, stuff like that. People who are divided to want to divide people. They're only the one. They're using bloggers who are trying to bring in everybody and say, "Hey, listen to this," because you're being lied to. Because if this if this is the case, why didn't you do this a long time ago when these when these when the real friends groups 
like the racist and the people who don't want America to get along this and that, you know, who always want conflict. Why have you done? Why do you have these hearings way before then? YouTube just didn't start the 2015. What it is, like I said, the government never anybody whenever the people are smart and starting to come around, the government's starting now to say, "Hey, hold on, that out here is dangerous." And this should be the this should be your guys' concern because this goes along with net neutrality. See, this is going to be the whole pre pretext for when they start cracking down on everything. They're going to say, "Oh, well, the government the, it spawns this, it spawns that." Any of the things spawns anything if you think about it. Ruby Ridge that's probably spawned a couple people who did whatever. The 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 what the, the, the public hangings down south during the civil rights. That probably spawns somebody to do something stupid. But the fact of the matter remains is the government knows and then they what they use they know the, the the bloggers per se aren't your um, aren't your hand puppets. They aren't your your parrots. Cuz like like I said, let, let me put you this way. I did a thing about ISIS in Syria. And like maybe Alex Jones and the Drudge Report and a few others did it. And then people will verify what I'm saying. We we gave this is this is around the time when Detroit had the water woes. We gave sixty million to the, the quote unquote Syrian rebels or the faction who didn't want Assad in Syria. Lo and behold, who comes out of Syria taking all the Syrian land and goes over to Iraq? ISIS. Who 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 can't put this together here? What do you, well, do you need a map or something? You need you need like hand puppets to show you people. The fact, and, and this is what scares the government, because the government's like, well, hold on, well, if these schmucks are finding this out, well, if they wake up the real dummies, you know what I mean? And that's the problem with this internet here thing, because and, 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 well, the, pro the problem is everybody's on the same plane on the internet. It don't matter how how many degrees you have, if you are a truth teller, a truth teller. If you lie, you lie. Sure, the internet has things where you know, there's nutsos and psychos that you know just just, just uh, pro, I mean spew the propaganda. But why is why wasn't the government worried about that now? I mean then they worry about these stuff now because there's a proliferation of people who tell the truth on the internet. And all you gotta do is like you said, we're we're telling you to do your research. Don't I mean don't believe what I'm saying. Look this up. You got a search bar for a reason. You know. And then the bad part about it is, it's, it's, it's inflammatory rhetoric. You know? I mean, don't get me wrong, RT is Russian propaganda. Don't get me wrong. But even RT in the US, it, like RT has, let me explain it to folks. RT is Russia Today, which is their main news thing on YouTube and probably whatever on cable stations over there. Now, RT is like, imagine, okay, let me put it this way. It's like CNN has CNN International. RT has RT USA. So they have to do things to cater to the White House so they can stay on air. But bloggers such as myself and others, we don't have no fiduciary responsibility to anybody but ourselves. So we can put out the truth and it, it was no problem because it's like, well, look, this is the truth. You know, and people look this up and say, hey, man, you were right, or hey, lady, you were right. Well, like I said, I take that as a compliment because I'm not going to lie to you. I have, Like I said, I don't make no money one way or the other. I just want to put it out here, like, like, like common sense tells you, if we give 60 million to Syria, and all of a sudden, two weeks later, ISIS pops up taking everything land, who do you think got the 60 million? It, it, you don't have to be a rocket scientist, you just have to be mentally awake. You know? And the problem is, like, they don't like the idea of a, a network that can reach people that doesn't have a U.S. propaganda system in, ingrained into it. I mean, yeah, there's a propaganda system, but... A lot more people are just waking up. They're, they're, I mean, they're realizing that a lot of things the government are doing isn't right. I mean, I have no problem with it, so I'm just want to let you people know because this is to me it's going to be a pretext for net neutrality. So stay awake and stay aware.